Social media is free, right? But not in Uganda. You see, a policy was implemented in Uganda on the 1st of July in 2018, which states that Ugandans have to pay 200 shillings or 5 cents every single day in order to access the 58 social media services, including WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, and many more. This was known as the social media tax for accessing over the top services. The reason given for this tax was that youths were spreading gossip and misinformation. However, this looks more like placing a price on freedom of speech. Well, what happened afterwards? Revenue estimated by the country dropped by 44% and the number of internet users in the country dropped by 30%. Not just because of the tax, but also, you know, the charges on the tax via mobile money resulting in double taxation. On a brighter note though, people in Uganda who use a VPN can get past the censorship and use the internet freely without paying this tax. In this video, I'll be showing you how to protect yourself and circumvent online censorship with one tool, a VPN. So you're not among the statistic. I'll help you find the best VPN for Uganda and I'll walk you through some things to look out for. Without further ado, let's get to the video. First off, why should you use a VPN in Uganda? I'll start by explaining what a VPN is. A VPN or virtual private network lets you create a secure connection to another network via the internet. A VPN is a tool. It's usually an app that you have installed on your computer that is your laptop or PC or Mac or your smartphone. Once installed, a VPN does a couple of things. Firstly, it changes your location or in more technical terms, your IP address. This way, if someone is trying to hack you or figure out your location, they won't have anything to pinpoint the location of your device. And what they'll have or what they'll see is the location that you have chosen on the VPN. This way, you get to access websites that are restricted to that said region. You also get to stay protected from people who may try to steal your information if you're on a public Wi-Fi connection. In July of 2018, when the tax was announced, Uganda had 16 million internet users. Just two months after the implementation, it went down to 13.5 million internet users. That was an immediate loss of about 3 million users, which does more harm than good for the development of any society, if you agree with me. And guess what? Uganda has only been able to gain back 2 million from the previous 16 million, which leaves the country to have 18 million users as of December in 2019, approaching 20 million in 2020. This is a lot still, considering censorship and the tax restrictions to accessing services in the country. Internet security should be a top priority. So you know you need a VPN, but how do you know which VPN to get and what should you look out for when you want to get a VPN? When you're trying to find a VPN, you want to know or you want to be sure of your use case or use cases when it comes to having a VPN. Are you mainly going to be streaming movies or video content? Or are you someone who travels a lot and needs to connect to public Wi-Fi? Maybe you just want to stay secure on the internet or you want all of those things. This is somewhere that VPN.com excels and right on the homepage, you get to see the best VPN that you can get for your own specific use case. For instance, if you're looking for a VPN for entertainment purposes like streaming Netflix, you should find out if the VPN you're getting can. Not a lot of VPNs can do this. Sometimes Netflix restricts some of their content to some locations and it doesn't show in some others. One other use case is having decent ease of use with a good interface. This is somewhat based on preference, but really a good user interface would usually speak for itself and watching slash reading reviews on vpn.com can help you find your preference in this regard. Another very important factor when it comes to choosing your VPN is the speed. How fast is it? Does it drop in speed when it's connected? This can be seen through VPN reviews and again, does it have enough locations for connections as well? If you're one who wants to regionally access content like Netflix, you'd want to know if your VPN can access this from your country of choice. Other things to look out for are also compatibility with your devices, your PC, your Macs, your Android, iPhone, or your router. The customer service is also important when you want to get a VPN. You should know if they are 24 seven or nine to five, depending on the time zone. And this is usually stated in the support pages or seen in reviews. The mode of payment is also a major factor. Although there are policies guiding everything with your credit cards, some people who want anonymity may want to use Bitcoin and you want to know if your VPN has the option of accepting Bitcoin. Many VPN companies also offer a 30 day free trial. Some may be seven days, some may be more and some may be less. Um, and they usually have a money back guarantee so you're a confident customer when you want to pay. Speaking of paying for a VPN, yes, it can be tempting to want to use a free VPN. After all, your IP address is changed and isn't that what you want, right? Wrong. Well, free VPNs are somewhat notorious for tracking you or even selling your data. 
They slow down your speed and also have limited features like limited locations, connections, and also access to services that you may need for your own use case. And when you pay for a VPN, you unlock a myriad of features. If you're curious and you want to know more about VPNs, especially with regards to how we relate to Uganda, visit vpn.com slash location slash Uganda. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And as a special offer today to save viewers like you a bunch of money, grab a 30-day risk-free trial to the number one best VPN for Uganda by clicking the first link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.